Right now, the calm before hundreds are expected on the University of Florida campus to hear and protest white nationalist Richard Spencer. The county and the school have been preparing for the influx of people, calling in additional law enforcement officers. Tonight, News 6's Troy Campbell is live outside the hall in Gainesville, where that speech is set to begin in less than 24 hours now. So, Troy, what is the scene like right now? Well, Lisa, there's a lot of law enforcement. There is a mobile command center set up just feet from where we're standing right now. Already tonight, they have several roads and parking lots closed off. In fact, take a look at this. They have some mobile security cameras that they've actually placed on the roof of the building. Honestly, pretty scary. Like, um, I heard about it maybe a week ago. I didn't expect this. Freshman Emily Smith reacting to the increased law enforcement presence on UF's campus the night before a controversial speech by white supremacist Richard Spencer. Smith getting out of town at the request of her parents. They wanted me to come home, but um, I'm actually going to Tampa tomorrow. The University of Florida says Spencer paid the $10,000 fee to rent the Phillips Performing Arts Center and is entitled to his free speech. The school had canceled his previously scheduled speech last month in wake of the violence in Charlottesville, where Spencer also took the stage. Governor Rick Scott declaring a state of emergency emergency. The school saying it expects to spend about half a million dollars on security, a large law enforcement presence from around the state. Like a lot of attention is focused on this, which like here at like a really big school like this, there's usually a lot going on. Banner showing the list of items not allowed in or around the hall. Florida Highway Patrol setting up a command center just feet from where Spencer will speak. Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi and the university's president urging students and the public not to attend the event, saying the campus has no room for hate. Overwhelming too. It's a lot to deal with for like three days. We can't even like get into the library. Like, <laughs> yeah, um, people are like people's parents are sending them home for the weekend. Like my mom's telling me not to leave like my dorm. Now, because of Florida law, Spencer does not have to pay for any of that extra security here at the school. And also his group posted on their website this afternoon that they will start handing out tickets first come first serve here tomorrow, starting at 115, adding that they only have 700 tickets to give away. Of course, we'll be here and bring you all the latest updates. Matt, Lisa. Troy Campbell reporting live tonight from Gainesville. Thank you.